Have you ever wondered why Iran, a country rich in resources and culture, is so fixated on the tiny nation of Israel? To understand, we must journey back in time to a period when relations between the two were quite amicable. Trade flourished under the Shah's reign and Israel never interfered with Iran's oil production. This fixation against Israel, therefore, doesn't stem from any economic or territorial disputes, but rather from a deep-seated ideological belief. The establishment of the Islamic Republic of Iran marked a drastic shift in the country's stance toward Israel. The newly formed regime didn't waste any time in voicing its call for Israel's destruction, a fixation that bears a resemblance to Turkey's phobia with the Treaty of Sevres. This wasn't a response to any infringement on Iranian trade or territory by Israel. Rather, it was a policy emanating from a hardline religious ideology, an absurd obsession against a nation that has only one-tenth of the population of Iran and has posed no real threat to Iran. This call for destruction, it seems, is more about ideology than any real threat posed by Israel. Despite the clear aggression from Iran through multiple terror proxy organizations in the region and most recently by a direct attack on Israel, the international community has largely remained silent. But why? This silence is baffling and of great concern, allowing Iran's irrational aggression against Israel to persist unchecked. The lack of international condemnation for Iran's hostility sends a dangerous message implying that such actions are tolerated on the global stage. This is a call for the West, a beacon of democracy and human rights, to stand up and take action on the issue. It is not about choosing sides in a political conflict, but about standing up for peace, stability, and the right of a nation to exist without the looming threat of destruction. The West has the power, the influence, and the moral duty to support Israel, to speak out against the Iranian threat, and to work toward a solution that will ensure the safety and security of all nations involved. Israel has every right to protect itself. It is high time the West stepped up to support Israel in countering and dealing with Iran's indefensible and dangerous aggression.